Hello, viewers. Monk Day's quest. We have Zogar Flesh Eaters. I can start this quest by talking to Grish at Zigjig. You are going to need to have completed Big Chompy Bird Hunting Jungle Potion. Have 30 range, which is not boostable. The 8 Herblore and the 4 Smithing, however, are recommended to have 45 combat. At the start, near the start, you're going to want to have some inventory space free because we are going to be picking up some stuff. You are either going to need to have a Comp Ogre Bow with some Brutal Arrows or the Crumble Undead. Crumble Undead is easier, that's what I'm going to be bringing. One of the things you're going to have to fight is safe spottable. Recommend you have 43 prayer for protect from melee. You're going to want to have at least 10 strength because it makes it easier to open some chests that we're going to have to do. If you're making your own bow and arrows, you're going to want to have at least 33 fletching. If your strength isn't all that great, bring a strength potion. However, I'm pretty sure my strength is okay. Now you can either bring with you a vial of water, a rogue's person, and a snake weed to make a reclam's bomb or a sand fruit serum if you're not making a lot of brutal arrows make sure to bring an ava's accumulator it'll help you out there during the quest we will be getting a super store or a normal restore potion if you want to save that you're going to want to bring a teleport method to Yanil, I'm bringing Watchtower Teleports, as well as to Jig Jig, you can either use the Fairy Ring BKP or use your Ring of Dueling to Castle Wars and run south. And then the usual combat stuff, I'm bringing my Crumble Undead stuff, so I got my Magic Staff and Runes for that, as well as a Prayer Potion and some Stamina Potions. I'm also going in full graceful because I seem to have a knack for doing combat and graceful for whatever reason. On a note for making your Reclam's Bomb as well as your Ogre Comp Bow and Brutal Arrows, you will learn how to during the course of the quest. Now we're going to want to find Grish. Talk to him choosing 241. Oh, what do you mean sickies? Can I help in any way? Yes, start it. Now we're going to go to the east, talk to the guard. It's it's crude, but it works. Climb over the crushed barricade. And there's going to be some stairs all the way to the east. Go there and climb down them. Head to the northwest. If you're lower combat, these zogers will attack you and will lower your stats. So. Be wary of that. Either you do the super stores or learn how to make uh, your Reglan bombs and all that stuff. Ah. So you're going to search the skeleton. Just going to kill it. Take the rune backpack and open it up. We don't need the drop the, the rotten food, drop that. Now search the lectern. Feel free to give it a quick read. Ha, ah, speed read. Now this ogre coffin just west of here, try to search it. Use your knife on it that you got from the backpack.
can now give it a search. Search once it's open, you get a black prism. Now we're going to want to go to Yanil, so I'm going to watch tower teleport. Alternatively, if you do not have a watchtower teleport or a broken house teleport, you can always use the NMZ minigame teleport. Head to the bar in Yanil. It's in the southwest portion of the city. When at the bar, use the tankard on the bartender. Head east, we're going to want to go to the Wizard's Guild. Now I feel like bringing him out to us instead of going to search around there, so I'm just gonna dingling the bell right here. Just regular talk to him, unless you have started hand in the sand, in which case you're gonna want to choose chat option one. Now this house to the north, you're gonna want to go in and upstairs. And in the western room, we have a civic. You're going to want to speak with him, choosing chat option three. Do you mind if I look around? In the room, search the wardrobe. Now we find a philosophy on the book. Search the cupboard. Necromancy. Search the drawers. And we have charcoal and papyrus. So the three books we found, speed read. Now use these books one by one on Scythic. Next, use your papyrus on him. When you're done, use the portrait on him. Okay, right here, if he says honesty, then you're good. If he says truth, you need to search the drawers for more papyrus and try again, because you failed. When you right-click examine, you're going to want to make sure it says a classic realist charcoal portrait of Scythic. Now we're going to want to return back to the bar. So when the bartender, use the tankard on him. And then the portrait. Go back to the mage. We're just going to be lazy again and dingling the bell. Choose chat option three. 
I have some items I'd like to take a look at. Unless you started hand in the sand and then it's uh, one and three. Let's go back to Mr. Bedridden here in the house to the north. And just right here we have a strange potion that we are given. Use it on the cup of tea. Now we're going to go downstairs, let him drink it, and go back upstairs. Speak to Sithic, doing one, two, three, and four. How do I remove the effects of the spell? How do I get rid of the undead ogres? How do I get rid of the disease? Sorry, I have to go. <laughs> There you go. Use the rogue's purse and we have a reclam's bomb. And unless your stats like being continuously drained, give it a drinky. And keep drinking until your HP goes to red again instead of yellow. Now I'm gonna head back to Jig Jig. And speak with Grish, choosing chat option one. I found the one who's responsible for the Zogers being here. Okay, to learn how to equip the bows, speak to him again, choosing chat option two. There must be an easier way to kill Zogers. So if making the ogre comp bow, because you're not doing crumble and dead, you chop the achy tree, fletch them with wolf bones in your inventory, selecting the unstrung comp bow, and then you string it with a bowstring. For the brutal arrows, once again, cut down the achy trees from some tree logs, fletch the logs into ogre shaft arrows with a knife, add feathers, with a hammer in your inventory, use nails on the arrows, and boom, you have your Flighted ogre arrows. But I'm doing crumble undead because easier, less work. And there you go. You can now make and equip your bow and arrows. So I'm going to show the potion, the Reclam's Bomb to Uglignard that we made. We got some coins from it and now we'll be able to purchase them from his shop. Reclam's Bomb from his shop. So we're going to head downstairs. We set up to protect from missiles. Climb over the wall. Go east, and down the stairs. Go west. Then once you hit the western wall, just a little south. And we'll see doors here. Go through the doors. And this is where we have a fight. Remember, this can be safe spotted, so make sure to equip either your ogre arrows and bows or have your crumble and dead ready to go. When ready, downstairs. Go to the main area all the way here to the east. We have a stand worth a bunch of bones. Gonna want to search it. And just stand on this other side of the uh, plinth and he can only hit us with range. And just attack him after that.
When you kill him, collect everything he drops and return back to Grish. Collect all the things. Mainly the thing you want is the ogre artifact. If you want to get out a little bit quicker, teleport to Castle Wars instead of running out like I did. Chit chat option one. Yes, I have them here. Congratulations, you've completed the Zogre Flesh Eaters. You're awarded one quest point, 2,000 in range, fletching an herb lurk speed. You now have the ability to make a Reclam's Bomb as well as Brutal Arrows. You can also wear inoculation bracelets to keep yourself from being diseased. And if you have not already, give some Reclam's Bomb here to Uglagnar and you gain access to his stuffies. Not a whole lot to it, but maybe the Reclam's Bomb if you want to. And lastly, you'll notice that we still have the Black Prism in our inventory. You can give that to Yanni and Shiloh for 5,000 GP or Zavistic at the Wizards Guild for 2,000 GP. Thanks for joining me for this quest. I hope it was enjoyable and or helpful. As always, feel free to give feedback in the comments below or just to say hi. I may not respond, but I do read all of my comments. Feel free to follow the links to my socials below and drop by Twitch to say hi and tap that sub button if you want to see what I'm up to on YouTube. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope you all take care. I hope to see you guys for the next video and until then, stay safe and ciao!